You have awoken me from my endless slumber, my hibernation. What? What penguins off season news have you awoken me for? Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins signed a guy from the SHL. I. I got out of my endless slumber for this? But he seemed pretty good over there, and plus it distracts us from what the fuck happened against the Rangers a few months ago. Everyone, that was my weird intro, because I have to try and make an SHL signing quite hilarious. Incredibly hard to do for those of you playing at home. The Penguins made their first off-season signing, at least the first that I've been able to look at. I've been kind of on top of this, and this is going to be something called Penguins Off-Season, where I'm going to go through every draft pick, every signing that we make, no matter how tiny, no matter what draft pick it is in the seventh round, I'm gonna make some sort of video on it and try and do stuff. I'm also gonna put up videos of them in like one of the top corners here, whichever one I'm not like sort of bouncing around to. Jump, 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 jump up and get down. Uh, so yeah, but the only video I can find on this signing is him getting a puck in the face, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Editing, kids. Try it. The Pittsburgh Penguins signed Nicholas Anderson. I am 97% sure that is how you say it, but I don't know exactly how to say it because he comes from Euroland. They do things backwards there and they have like E's and O's and stuff with little oomphlers on the top of it. And it's like, ooh. And they also go, ooh. This might be a minor signing. However, we picked him up for $650,000 on a one year entry level contract. Not sure why it's only one year. I guess it's whether it like works out, it does. And then if it doesn't, it's like, see you, bye. He is on a one-way contract, however, so there is a small amount of risk that we do actually have to play him, and plus we can send him down and put him on waivers, I guess, and someone will probably give him a crack. He won a title in the SHL. He played there for six seasons past the age of 19. He also went on to the KHL and, uh, and played there for two seasons, then went back to the SHL this year, where he captained his team. He put up career-high numbers this season, and he was a captain, and we do need some leadership on the back end. This says to me one thing, this guy, we kind of have a bit of a log jam at the five, six, seven, eight mark. I know you don't have seven and eight defenders playing a game, so no one put that in the comments. They're called depth, kids. But this guy could potentially be a top four guy. I know we're pretty much, you know, shooting a nerf dart onto a wall and just hoping it'll stick, but it could happen. This signing says to me, by Skideri. That's what it says to me, because Skideri is probably that fourth, fifth guy. And that's so sad that we view him that way, but I kind of think that we're going to buy him out and this is a cheap alternative because obviously Skidari's, you know, buyout's going to be on the cap still. And we're going to start the offseason just a little bit early before draft day where I don't know if we're going to do anything on that first day because it's only the first round picks and spoiler alert, we don't have any. Oh my god, but we have David Perron! I hate life.